when you're hopping in the car, it just like narrows your field of vision somehow. Oh my god, god damn it! I'm done, I'm done, I'm exiting the game. I don't want to play it anymore. Mommy, save me, save me. Yo, yo, guys, it is me, Happy Sirekin. Welcome back to Miss Survival. So first of all, I just want to say huge thanks on all of the support on the previous video because that previous video has gotten over 1,500 likes. So if you want part five of Miss Survival, then let's try to hit 1,500 likes on this video because like I said, the best way for me to see if you want another part is if you guys smash those like buttons so thank you so much for all your support and today we're gonna be assembling this car it's been quite a while since i played this game so hopefully i still did not forget everything but the only thing that's left for me is to put the engine inside and that's it we're gonna be done with the car but i do believe that i can take everything else from the car and put it back to another car because i do know that there is like whatever truck somewhere outside so that's what we are gonna do today but first of all i want to see if i don't have here any other stuff in my inventory and also a lot of you left me a lot of awesome tips so i know right now how to move lockers i know that we will be able to place them inside of the truck and just drive there and basically have almost infinite amount of space so that's what we are gonna do today and i'm super excited to check this game out because i haven't played it like i said for a really long time and i just wanted to do it like since forever so i'm just gonna sort out my inventory well i don't know this is most likely how it's gonna look like it is all fine i just want to go and assemble my truck we're gonna come back here once again never done that before want to see how long it's gonna take to place an engine probably like half an hour or something okay only 20 minutes so that is fine let's go let's place that in and i'm super excited i want to see how it's like to drive the car mate okay so it's supposed to work it's definitely going to work okay so let's open the door let's click on drive dude and uh, what do we just start the engine okay start engine <laughs> it worked dude okay so how do i drive with w oh this is how we drive awesome Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, is it gonna be super loud? Oh, okay. This reminds me of that, like, horror game where you play in a car, but it is really loud in the car here. Okay, so I'm gonna just lower my volume here because I will be screaming. I was already screaming. But yeah, this definitely reminds me, like, of that horror game where you play in a car. Uh, like, for those who did not know, most likely I'm gonna try it out here on the channel, but it's a pretty cool horror game where you run away from people on a car. And uh, it's like a horror-style themed game. It's pretty cool. So, first of all, we just have to find where is... Oh, I can even turn on the lights with R. Oh my goodness, that is so awesome. Okay, first of all, where is that car? Like, it has to be somewhere over here. Hopefully there are no bandits because you told me that they can respawn. And if they're gonna respawn, dude, that is going to be really, really, really sad. Okay, so, so far that's not here. I'm a really good driver, don't worry, guys. Been driving since I was five years old. Is the car over there? Okay, so at least I can uh, use my mouse to look around. Okay, that is so cool. Like, I love this game, dude. Miss Survival is amazing. Uh, where is the car, mate? Is it there? Like, okay, I think I have to just get out of here. Okay, engine stop. And uh, how do I exit the place now? Uh, F again? Yeah, I think we're gonna click F once again. This is gonna be my car. Uh, not a big deal. I still think that I have a couple of guns. So, I think also mist is coming, right? There has to be a bear. So, I gotta be really careful because bear can be literally everywhere. Because that's a bear. I already see it over there. Wow, I didn't mean to rhyme so much, but we did. So, okay, so that car had to be somewhere over there. Wait, I just want to find my car on foot because I forgot where is it. Okay, is that the car? Is it over there? Yes, I believe that car is over there. So, what I got to do now is uh, go back there. And also, another question. Like, can these zombies kill me if I am going to be in a car? I have no idea. Okay, so I'm just driving. Gonna start the engine. This is so realistic. You can you have to click. Uh-oh. Didn't mean to break my car. Oopsies. That was scary. That was seriously scary. I should have looked back. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just go down. Hopefully, nobody is gonna shred me into tiny smithereens like no bear or something. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just hoping that also I'll have enough gasoline. And gasoline seems to last here for a long time. Also, you told me that it doesn't disappear quickly. So maybe gasoline isn't going to be a problem. Here, here we go. Gonna park my car, baby. Let's stop it. Let's get out of the car now. And I believe I will be able now to take back the engine from here. Let's take the engine from the car. Time is just going. So I'm gonna also take the battery. Five minutes. Very nice. So I will most likely now check what's with the weather. Because if mist comes in and I am over here, I'll be very sad. And I definitely see that mist is coming in. Like, that's a fact. Like, that's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna just take the spark plugs. Spark plugs most likely are gonna be broken really soon. Only 30%. Okay, more mist coming in, maybe. Not sure. Okay, so I just have to take... Uh, the wheels, like four wheels, so that's gonna be 40 minutes, dude. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that I'll be able to place everything here and I'm not gonna die because I haven't saved here for quite a while. Not saving right now because I'm not sure if it's even possible to go and exchange like both of those cars because that was my plan like for a week almost because I think last episode that was uploaded here was like last week or something, maybe like five days ago, so. 
I know again, the more likes this video gets, the sooner I'll be able to make another part. So let's take out all of the wheels. And now I have to check definitely for sure what it's like to... Uh, what weather is out there and I need to drink up a little bit. Okay, so there is no mist at least not that I see I think it's kind of okay. So also some of you told me tips like how can I get some water like I just have to uh, Go outside take a barrel and put it in the water But we be really careful otherwise it can fall inside not really sure if that's true or something But I think we're gonna figure out all of these things like the more I play this game the better I figure out stuff here So it's all good. It's all logic. So I think uh, where is is there anything else inside of the car here? Okay so I have to fill up the can now. We're gonna take those eight liters of gasoline. Sorry, ugly car. We don't need it because a lot of you told me that the best car uh, there is is gonna be this pickup truck because you can literally fill up, uh, put a lot of and a lot of lockers inside of the thingy here. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Let's just put in the four wheels. Wish it was a bit faster, but again, it's seriously very satisfying process. I believe that crafting your own first car is super cool. Okay, the spark plug, I think spark plug is gonna be destroyed every time you use it, right? I don't know, whatever. I think I'm just gonna start placing in more wheels, like, uh, extra 30, 40 minutes. Like, dude, that's gonna take forever. Like, the auto mechanic here just fixing cars, dude. Maybe I should have just ran on foot and t put in all of those items here. But, uh, we're doing it Cyrex style, not really safe style. Uh, okay, so pickup truck gets better and better. That is beautiful. I want to go back there back home I want to park it close to my garage and uh, we're gonna take the rest of the items Oh my god, I waited like for this moment for literally almost entire week Like I was dreaming on how I'm gonna go there and assemble this car. This is so fun But Sarek, you're just placing items. It's not fun. It is fun Like I can't wait to drive the car I just hope like these items aren't gonna break quickly like I just need to find some extra spark plugs maybe a different engine and uh, okay, so I'm just gonna double check. Everything is fine. Nobody's destroying me. Let's just now fill in the tank, dude. And that's it, mate. That's it. That's it. We have a car, dude. I I repaired my truck, mate. Look at that. I totally have my truck. We will be able to go and place it in uh, whatever back my house, right? So now I'm just gonna hop inside here. Uh, let's click on drive here. Let's start the engine. And I mean, somehow, some way, I just have to go out. Where are the mirrors? I have no idea how we're gonna go. Like, I cannot even look back. Like, there is no way I cannot hit a tree. Like, it's so weird. But whatever, we're gonna go right uh, like that to the very, very top. Gonna hit on the road. And I just wanna park this car close to my garage. And then we're gonna save. And that's it. Oh boy, that's it. We have a truck. We literally have a truck. And also, some of you told me that now the game actually is going to start because it's really hard to play the game without having more space. Like, the backpack is pretty small. And moving all of those lockers on foot is pretty hard. And <laughs> you get lost easily. I don't wanna break my car, mate. I really don't wanna break it. It's not GTA or something. I'm sure if I'm gonna hit a lot of trees here, like that, it'll be bad so i gotta be pretty slow gotta be pretty careful i don't think you have to be driving the car in the forest though i don't think that's how it works like this is a more realistic game so uh yeah okay i'm gonna i think I, yeah, yeah yeah i definitely closed the car now that's awesome did i hit it too much i think it's still pretty fine i still think i have everything here so what is up we're gonna save here and obviously we're gonna call this car bobby the car very nice me and my bobby the car now let's just hop back inside of the base and it has here some lockers and i definitely know that we can probably move them like let's say i can click on m i can move it and i can just run outside with that locker uh, go go outside and I can definitely place it like on top of the car at least that's what you told me I've never done that before. I just want to see if it's possible, right? Uh, how do I do it? Okay, so I have to rotate it probably I have no idea man. Oh, I can unzoom it now scroll to increase the distance How do I what is going on man? That's how I place it inside mate. No. Yes So I just placed an item is it going to fall so I want to know if it's gonna fall if I let's say yes <laughs> What is going on? Engine stop. I'm out. Uh, uh, okay, excuse me. I don't think I can place these lockers inside of the car then. I don't know, maybe I still can. I have no idea. I'm not gonna even try, probably. I don't think I've placed it properly, though. I don't think robbers can still anything. Wait, I'm gonna go back to the base. I'm gonna place that locker. You also told me that it's better to maybe not place the lockers, but like those other thingies, whatever they called, like... I have no idea. Wait, I'm just gonna place, the, place an item here. It's still fine. Everything is still over here. Beautiful. So I'm gonna sit back now in the car. I'm gonna start it up. Okay, let's start it up, mate. Let's get out of this place. And I want to go back to that military camp or something because there I could find some sort of luggage. I think I'm gonna place my car over here. Like, there is no need to drive through those things. Let's take this game a little bit more realistically because let's be honest, who would actually drive their car through this pile of garbage? Like, you would just park it over there and that's it. And we're not gonna lo get lost that easily. At least I hope so. So let's go. Let's find, like, those military 
some sort of lockers, chests, because I do remember that they were here. So let's just pick out one of them. Let's place it in the locker. Like, I think we can take it. No, I cannot take those things. But I do know that in one of the pickup trucks or something in one of the trucks here, uh, I could have taken it. So that's what I'll do. Like, here maybe? Yes, I think I can see one of those military lockers. Here we go. Gonna move it. Okay, come with me. I think it started moving. Yeah, yes, indeed, it's moving. Let's run back to my car and hopefully I will be able to place it and at least I'll be able to stack them one on top of another. So at least that's how I understood it. I'm not sure if that's possible. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but at least that's from what you told me. And uh, yeah, literally me trying out. Okay, just jump on top of that. Is it gonna move out? Oh my goodness, it just got stuck, mate. Please no, please don't get stuck. And will I be able even to drive my car i think that it's not gonna be that easy to drive it but we will see okay so can i just jump up oh no i cannot jump up can i just place it at least inside of the car okay so can i place an item i think that's fine we placed it somehow some way uh i'm gonna go back here on top of the car now and i want to move that luggage here thingy i want to rotate it a little bit how do i take it out mate how do i move it out like it's so okay so is that it is that how i place it i think that's how i do it yeah i think it's placed inside is it isn't it? Okay, let's try it out now. I want to go. I want to start driving. I want to see if it's going to work. Let's try to go to the very, very top. That's what we are doing, baby. Cyric is getting ready to go for an adventure. No, why are you drifting so much, mate? Okay, place the car here. I'm stopping it, getting out, and the thingy is still in the car. Okay, so let's get some more military lockers. Uh, I mean, those military chests. And also, if you have any other tips that I'm doing here, something wrong in the game, then definitely make sure to leave a comment down below. And some of you told me that I can take here an axe, right? And I can hit these cars, and they will give me, like, some sort of metal or whatever. I have no idea how to hit them. Like this, do I just destroy the car like that? And you told me that after that, I'll be able to get the scrap metal. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but hey, I just want to check it out. So I have to crouch, I have to hit it, and uh, I don't know if I'll get something or no, but you told me that you can destroy these cars and they will drop, like, scrap metal. I'm not sure if that's real. I'm not sure if that's the case. I'm not sure if I'm imagining stuff, but at least I'm hoping that that's uh, what's gonna happen. Here we go, let's destroy that. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that's a lot of those thingies, mate. We're gonna pick it up. Okay, so thank you for that tip as well. It looks like it's pretty good. So you can just destroy these simple cards and you're gonna get a bunch of, like, tools. I'm fine with that. Why did I get stuck here? Okay, don't mean to get stuck over there. I'm gonna climb through that stuff now. I still didn't save any hostages in this game. I do believe that they are somewhere there, but I think we're gonna be able to find all of that when we will be in the car, when we will be exploring stuff, and etc. and etc. So now I just have to find another military box. Or it's not really military box. It's like some sort of doo-doo. I don't know how it's called, but hopefully I'll be able to find it soon. Okay, so there is another engine, isn't it? Okay, so there is another car engine, dude. How did I miss this car engine, mate? What kind of durability does it have? Okay, 23%. Usable car engine. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. I mean, car engine is always gonna be appreciated. How did I miss that thing? Like, I can't believe it. That's what happens when you are a noob. Like, also, I could probably move those lockers and place them inside of the cars, but it fell. Like, it's seriously, that locker just fell. Okay, so I just found a baseball bat. Let's pick the baseball bat here once again. I mean, only one bullet. Uh, always better than nothing. Thing. Okay, so here we go. This is another chest that I will be able to take. I do believe that it is empty. Here we go. Let's move it. I'm not sure if it has a lot of space, though. And I'm not even sure if it's intended in the game. I believe that that's intended because how else are you gonna... What's the point of the car? Like, wait, can I just run with it? Why can't you just run, mate? Okay, let's place it just like that. Let's start running. Okay, I don't have any stamina. That's why I cannot run. My dude is literally out of stamina. And I'm just forcing him to run even more. Poor dude. Okay, so my car is over there. I definitely think that today we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna go somewhere and we we will find out. Okay, so I'm gonna place an item over there. Here we go. We're gonna jump through this. Mate, can you just... Sometimes you get stuck in such things like right now, and I don't even know where can I go. Like, okay, just like this. Uh, Whatever, let's take now my military locker bloop, and I'm gonna go and place it back in my car. It is so fun. Like, this game, I think it's really cool that it's, like, more realistic, that there is no map. Like, I kind of understand now why they didn't put a map here in the game, because it wouldn't be as fun. Okay, let's place that locker, dude. Boom. Beautiful. We have two military. Those things probably we can fit more. <laughs> it's so fun, dude. Look at that. I think we can place even more on top of that. I don't think they would disappear, or maybe they would. I don't know. Okay, so let's hop inside of the car. Let's start it, baby. Boom. Let's just drive, and and uh, I think I'm gonna go back to my base. I mean, it's literally five meters from here. We're gonna go back to the base 
And I want to try to place a locker anyways inside because locker has more space. Just close it in. Okay, let's get out of here. I want to move out one of those things, baby. Get out. Get out. Let's place it. I want to still get back to the base and take one of those huge lockers. Like, I do believe that it's going to be worth it because it is, like, pretty big. Like, pretty huge, I would say. Okay, let's come inside. Can it just please? Yeah, it got out from here. So, what I will try to do now is place that locker over here, baby. Yes. Gotta rotate it a little bit. Okay, so let's rotate it. Just fit. Please, mate. Just fit. Okay, did it fit? Is it going to stay there? It looks like it's... It's inside. Wait, so I'll try to drive the car now. Let's try to drive it. Let's start it. Okay, so I'm just trying to run around and see if it works. I'm trying to wiggle my car to see if the thing is just gonna drop, if physics work here. But by the looks of it, my military locker or whatever the thing is gonna stay here. So I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna place another locker inside and oh boy, not the locker, but that thing, whatever it's called, the box. And dude, we are set to go for the road. Like, we are set to go, baby. Okay, so I think I can go and place it over here, right? It's gonna stay. Please tell me it's gonna stay. I'll be able to place another one, won't I? Wait, it just looks... It doesn't look symmetrical. Like, it doesn't look really that beautiful. Okay, place an item. It looks good. I'm gonna just drive the car now. I'm gonna start it. Is it gonna drive properly? Yeah, I think it drives awesomely. Like, literally properly and awesomely 10 out of 10. Yeah, everything is fine. All I'm gonna do now is just get rid of these items from the car because I totally don't need that. And we are ready to go. So let's save the game here. Uh, all of these other things. Okay, that's not really a lot of space, to be honest. I could maybe place here some uh, more lockers. I definitely think that we could fit in at least two lockers than only one here. But maybe we're gonna find something else and that'll be fine. But at least for now, I think this house is gonna be fine for now. Everything is gonna be fine for now. So before I go anywhere else, I think that it's time to eat up a little bit because I'm a bit hungry. Okay, so when I eat that thingy, it refills my hunger and my thirst. But I am fatigued, dude. Are you kidding me? I'm tired now. Like, really? Do you think I'm gonna go and sleep now for, like, 20 hours? Okay, so maybe we're gonna go in the car a bit after. Right now, I just wanna take that, uh, barrel of water. And I wanna go to the water container, or whatever that's called. Because you told me I could just place that barrel inside and fill it up with water. Not sure how that works, but whatever. I think we're gonna try it out. Hopefully there's no bear, there's no zombies. And let's see, literally, I might be totally even wrong. I think we're gonna go on the car after we sleep or something. I'm just waiting until it's gonna be better. But you told me, okay, drink. Fill. Fill the bottle and save water. Okay, so fill the bottle. How do I... Uh... What have happened there? Can somebody please explain to me? Oh my goodness, it's so scary. Why this water feels like so muddy? Like, it's so muddy. Like, this lake is so dirty. I've never seen a dirtier lake before. It's like, I don't know, it doesn't look like water at all, though. So whatever I'll need to do, I will need to craft a bucket somehow. I'll need to get firewood and stone. So all that is easy, except that how do I get a bucket? Like, dude, how do I get a bucket? I just destroy that uh, barrel with water. Like, I need to get a bucket. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm totally determined. Maybe I need to go, like, on a workbench or something. And that's where I crafted. I don't know that there was a bar uh, one workbench close to the motel, so probably that's what I will do. And also he told me that we can deal with that bear. There I'll be able to dry the meat if I have salt and other stuff, so I think that I'll just have to dry, but my dude is like a bit tired. Uh, where is Where are the stats? I don't know if you can see them, but just below over here my dude is like maybe 40% good, so he's 60% tired or something, so I really don't want to hit the road right now. I want to just be ready. I want to be ready for everything, because if I'm going to go somewhere, I literally want to drive away, really, really far away from this camp, and then hopefully I will still be able to find it. So I think that right now we can just go and search for some sort of items, like some food or something a bit more important. I don't know. Maybe I've already been here. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. Okay, that's the cabin. I think I looted it before. And uh, how do I get a bucket if only it was that simple? Like, I think it's on the work, bitch. Like, I would assume that you put iron, metal scrap or something, and that's how we craft the bucket. Unless you have to find that bucket. Then it's a different story. But right now, I'm just gonna save, because Bear is really nearby, and close to that motel, there is, like, some sort of a gas station or something, and there is a workbench. I have no idea, why didn't I drive here with the car? But in that car, you know, when when you're hopping in the car, it just, like, narrows your field of vision somehow. Oh my god, god damn it, I'm done, I'm done, I'm exiting the game, I don't wanna play it anymore, mommy, save me, save me. I'm taking out the shotgun. Is he gonna attack me? That bear, did you hear? Oh my god. 
He was there. Oh, uh, I don't want to kill it. Like, I really, really don't. How do I get to the very top, though? Like, is the bear over there? I don't want to waste my rifles. I don't want to do anything. And I wasn't scared at all. If you if you thought that I'm scared or something, think again, because I wasn't. What am I scared? I'm a dude here with a shotgun. I just don't want to waste my bullets on that bad boy. But at least he didn't attack me. I mean, he let me go. So I guess that's fine. I mean, I let him go live, mate. So I'm gonna go back here inside of this gas station and I wanna see what kind of things can I craft if there is a workbench, at least from the stuff that I remember. Maybe it's not, maybe it is a gas station. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Why am I even holding here a shotgun? Everything will be fine. Nothing is gonna be fine. Okay, so I don't see anything over here. Nothing here. I think I looted this place like five times already. I found enough food. I don't think I'll be able to survive here any longer if I don't go somewhere else. And I didn't even find a workbench. So where was that workbench? In this cabin, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Wait, I have a Glock and inside I have like a couple of bullets. I don't think I sh can run for any longer. Like my stamina is super low. Okay, so I don't think I'll venture any further, but I do want to go and check out this cabin. Maybe inside I'll be able to find that bucket. I don't know. I don't remember where I've seen that workbench. It was somewhere close to the gas station. It was somewhere close to motel. I think I would have heard here something already. Like, yeah, I think I would have heard here something already. I don't think there's anyone, anybody inside. Yeah, everything is totally empty. Okay. Nothing inside of here. I, definitely, zombies would have been screaming already. I don't think they're quiet zombies, unless I still don't know something about the game. But uh, I don't think anybody lives inside of here. Okay, so I have a locker. We're gonna get that thing. Yes, some food, baby. I think we'll need a crowbar for that. Oh, no. We don't need a crowbar for this place. Okay, that's awesome. So that's it. This is entire cabin. Nothing else here. Well, we could live in this place, but I do not want to live here. Really do not want to live here. I said that I'm not going any further, but I keep going further and further away. Okay, there is another car that I could repair. I don't want it. I really don't want it. Where is my old car? Did I hear zombies? Probably no. Okay, inside I don't see really anything. Okay, so some gloves, they don't give any protection. I have my gloves. I don't need those other ones. Uh, gonna check what we can get here in front. A little bit of gasoline, but apparently I don't have my stuff. Can I take the bottles of water? Nope. I cannot get gasoline in the bottles of water here. This is not last day on earth. Let's take that thing. And I want to loot this place very quickly then. It's not it's not the workbench thingy, but I guess it's better than nothing. Gonna pick up the garbage here. Maybe I'll get some food. I mean, I literally, all I need now is food because I cannot self-sustain myself. I don't know what can I craft. I'm a bad survivor. I just take up, I just pick up the metal scrap and other garbage, but I never craft any food for myself. I don't know how to cook. In real life and in the game. This is so relatable. Okay, let's get this. Nothing inside of here. Okay, cool. Would be really awesome if I could just move this entire shelf and I would have like literally infinite space. I don't think I need planks. Okay, so this is entire garage thingy. I'm just gonna go on the very top because as you told me, you can find some goodies on the very top, like some bullets or something. And uh, I just see a stone. I just see a hard stick, nothing else. Okay, so there's another car. I have a probably maybe empty bottle. I have no idea if that was empty or no, but what's under the hood? Some more gasoline, not a big deal. More camps here. Why didn't I take that uh, car with me? Like, that's so dumb. Why am I an idiot? And you can also craft here like those, wait, not generators, but uh, also not probably tanning racks. Okay, so I can craft the workbench myself, literally. I could just craft that workbench myself. Yeah, so probably that's what I'll do. I'll just craft the workbench. I'll go back to the base, but I'm gonna loot this quick. Okay, bear. Literally, there is a sign there of bears. Really? Maybe I have to hold a shotgun here because you know what? I didn't uh, save here for quite a while. So if a bear is gonna jump out of nowhere, I mean, that'll be pretty bad, so I gotta be prepared for a bear. I gotta be prepare prepared for everybody. But I'm not gonna lie, like, I, the more I played, I seriously, the more I love the game. I think I realize why there is no compass, why there is no map, there is no anything. It's seriously like in real life. You just have to orientate yourself. I mean, you can find a map in real life, you can find a compass, but you know, like when you remove those things from the game, it's like, it feels more cool, like... It's so easy to lose your place, so you have to keep track of where you're going. I don't know, I just like it. Okay, let's pick up the rest of the foods here. Finally, at least I got some food. Like, I do know that now the most important thing in the game is food. If you're not gonna have enough food, you're gonna die. Do these empty bottles even stack? Yeah, these empty bottles somehow, some way they stack. Let's check the rooftop here. Rooftop seems pretty empty. Okay, there's something here, like a hard stick. Okay, an axe. Do I need an axe? Maybe no. Okay, so I'm on the top here, and I found a backpack. Let's upgrade my inventory. Uh, very nice. How many slots do I have now? Not really full, but I would say like 80% done. Beautiful, beautiful. And I think I looted this place. So now let's somehow, some way, get back to the base without that bear eating me alive. Wait, I'll try to save, and maybe I'll try to eat up some cans. So I have the beef here. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. Beef can. Let's just eat it up. Boom, my thirst goes down. Thirst depletes really quickly. And let's drink that up now. 
Got some more thirst, got some more hunger, so everything is fine besides my fatigue. Okay, another car. Okay, nice. Inside we're gonna get some bullets. Beautiful. We're gonna get a bandage. Beautiful. We're gonna get some ropes and other stuff. Uh, that's amazing. Not the ropes, but the... You got the point. Okay, so nothing inside of this car anymore. But where was that workbench? Like, I just wanna sh make sure that I don't even need to grab that workbench. Like, how do I find a bottle? Not the bottle, but other thing. Wait, is that here? Yes, the workbench is here. I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's go and let's see what kind of things I could craft. Level one, click to upgrade. I could definitely upgrade that stuff. So what can I craft? Uh, salt. Okay, so that's how you craft the bucket. Let's cra craft for yourself. Yes. We're gonna craft it 40 minutes, dude. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Like, anything can happen in that time. Bear can... It There's a bear. There's a bear, mate. There's a bear. I don't want it. Do I have anything in my inventory? Like, do I have a bucket? Yes, I got a bucket, mate. I think I'm gonna be able to take that a bit after. Maybe I'll be able to steal it or something, but in any case, there's a bear right now. Mate, there's a bear. I wanna uh, run around that place. How do I get to the very top? Is that even possible? Like, I don't think so. Like, bear! Bear is coming to me, why? Okay, I gotta be very careful. I mean, I can just pop him with two shotgun shots, but... He found me out. That's it, I destroyed the bear. I don't wanna do it. So here we go, I reloaded. Like, the only reason why I don't wanna kill the bear because I... kind of feels bad, first of all, and second of all... I am not ready, either prepared or anything, to take the meat right now. I don't wanna go and cook my stuff. I don't wanna go and craft, like, those uh, tanning racks. Like, I don't wanna craft, like, those drying meat thingies. Like, bear can be here and he can just destroy me. But I'm gonna be prepared, because I have my shower going. Here we go, I ran through that place. Everything seems to be pretty much fine. So I definitely need to upgrade my base. Some people told me that Sark don't live in that house. Like, it kind of makes no sense for me. Why wouldn't I live there? It's pretty huge. It looks pretty cool. I would love to drive over there and check out what can we find on that road. But uh, yeah, other than that, I really don't understand why people didn't want me to live in that house. In my opinion, it's pretty cool. I didn't have to build any cabins here myself. Obviously, we'll be able to build after like a really cool cabin. Like, let's say hunting cabin C, like with all of those items here. I think it would be totally possible to craft it one day, like two floored building or something. But like not today and not right now. I don't see a reason why should I abandon this white house. At least I figure out that I need a workbench to craft that bucket. But this is just so fun that you can place these lockers in your car and drive there. I think I would never be able to do that myself, so thank everybody who left uh, those tips about the car. But now, we're gonna get back to the base. Uh, okay, it's night is coming in, so that's cool. We still have a little bit of time. I will be able to craft... No, 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 not the flashlight. I have no idea how I got in that flashlight, though. Literally zero clue. But we will be able to start crafting that water purifier. I don't even know what I crafted here. So where is that water purifier? Not the thing, but DIY water purifier. So I think I will craft it somewhere here. Oh, to get firewood is just literally logs. So I just literally have to have these logs and I'll get a bunch of firewood. That's it. All I need is stones. Well, that's it. I think we have enough stones now to craft that thing. Let's just hop there. And this is going to be my first water purifier. Maybe I should have placed it somewhere else, but it looks cool. In any case, we will be able to move it everywhere. Okay, so it's still not night. It's still pretty much fine. So I need just firewood. Let's hop back inside of the base. Obviously gonna close the door because who knows what's gonna happen. I need more clearer windows. Is it possible to get clearer windows? Because these windows are like tanned or something and you don't see anything through them. So I don't understand why is it like that. Okay, so let's go. Let's craft these firewoods. Only five minutes. Not a big deal. Bloom, bloom. We destroyed that. Now I will be able to go and finish this water purifier. Still don't see anybody out there who would destroy me. Okay, fire with 25%, other percent, and other percent. Boom. Done, baby. We have a bucket. I have no idea how... Oh, bucket is on the down. Okay, cool. This is epic. So how do I interact with it now? I'll need to put water inside. I'll need to place in... Okay, what? Tree barks, firewood. Can't I just put there anything? So here we go. I'm chopping down that tree. It already left me some of those tree barks or something. Here we go. We're gonna destroy that. Gonna be able to pick up some logs, maybe a bit after. Hopefully, they're not gonna disappear. Okay, that tree is not gonna kill me. Very, very nice. So, we're gonna pick up now the rest of these tree barks. So, I think I'm almost done. Besides, I just need to take some matches. So, let's take the matches and then I'll need to go to sleep. Because night is gonna fall in really quickly and I still have that empty bottle. I was worried. Let's go. Let's try to sleep till... Let's try to sleep maybe 10 hours. We will see how that's gonna go. Okay, sleeping, 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 sleeping. It's 4. Still wanna sleep like 2 extra hours maybe. I think it will be fine. I think it's six, all that stuff is just gonna stop. 
Yeah, it just stopped. So very nice. It's day right now. We are kind of thirsty. So let's eat that can of thingies. Here, guy, I restored my thirst. I restored my hunger a little bit. And uh, let's just get some water now. That's it. I wish I had more empty bottles. But uh, it will be better than nothing. I'm outside, baby. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? My car is still there. Amazing. Let's go. The dirty water is there. Hopefully, it's even... After we purify it, it will be possible to drink it. Probably I wouldn't even try drinking such a dark water. Like, it's so muddy. Like, everything looks better than this. It feel, it looks, like, so muddy, so thick that, I don't know, whatever. Let's just go here. Not drink. No, don't drink. Uh, fill bottle. Okay, let's fill this bottle. Here, go. I filled in. Yeah, the water is totally green. Here, go. Let's take it. Uh, do I have any other empty bottles? Like, I had a lot of them. Okay, so probably I left them at the base. Let's now go over there. I don't think it would be safe to drink that water. Maybe it's better than nothing. But I think that water would be kill me. It would kill me, like, instantly. So, in any case, now let's see how that works. How those empty bottles work, even. And how that distillation process works. I want to definitely see it. Okay, so let's interact. Let's place inside, like, this thing. Let's give in. So, bloop, bloop, bloop. I filled in the container. Wait, why didn't that work? Wait, I'm giving in. Oh, so I'm gonna give two liters. Okay, that's how it works. I have to set the amount that I need to give. Here go. That's awesome. So, I think I need to start doing it. Okay, so it started working, baby. Look at that. I think it's gonna take some time to purify, like, two liters of water. But, uh, I mean, okay. It will be better than nothing. So, little by little, it works. Uh, where is it? We need to craft our workbench. Okay, so my workbench is gonna be somewhere over here, right? Close to that purify. It doesn't look good. Okay, so we're not about this. Actually, it looks perfect. It looks amazing. Here we go. Let's do it. Uh, let's start building that thing. We've added some stuff. Boom, boom. Place the boxes. Place those thingies. And, wait, did I just complete it? Did I just... Oh, I need more wood. I need more wood. How much? Okay, one more piece of uh, plank left. So crafting extra four planks here. Bloop. Very nice. Still day outside. No mist. Very nice. I have no idea why mist was so frequent before, but okay. Okay, now we're gonna go over here. Boom. I'm getting really thirsty, so I want to go here. I want to take at least a little bit of water. And uh, I want to drink it. I definitely want to drink it. Is it distilled? Uh, is it good water? Is it cool drink drinkable water? That's what I want to see. Okay, that's it. Uh, used for containing water. Okay, so let's drink. Drink until enough. So here we go. I drank. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Like, but, uh, water is insane. Like, it restored my thirst quickly without really drinking a lot. So, I mean, I'm happy with it. So, finally, we will be able to craft other stuff like charcoal matches. I don't need this. We can craft screwdrivers. We can craft other stuff. Crowbars, gas cans. Oh, my God. Combat knives, bows, shirts. Dude, dude, that's beautiful. So, I also can upgrade that stuff. But I need more planks and some gears. I mean, again, more planks, dude. Are you kidding me? Okay, so now we're gonna craft here a drying rack as well. I wanna place that over here. Boom. We're gonna start doing that little by little. I don't know if there's anything else that I could actually do. I mean, you can craft here grill stands. So yeah, whatever. I'm gonna craft it over here. Not sure if that's gonna be good or no. But hey, we're gonna craft it. I'll try to build it right now because I think I have all the required items here. Okay, I've built the grill stand. Let's try to interact here. Not sure if I can cook here something or whatever. I need to put my uh, fire un underneath it. Probably that's so how it's gonna work. But I need sticks and lashings, dude. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm almost done with that thing. I believe that I'll have now enough of the rope, right? Yeah, we added one rope. Boom. Let's add now here another rope. And I will believe now, right? Yeah, everything is fine. Still nobody attacks me. I thought maybe somebody's here. So it looks like I will be able to dry uh, all the meat from the bear, right? I don't even know if there's anything else that I could craft. Like, I feel like I crafted everything that I needed. Like, I really feel that I am OP player here. Like, I have everything that I need. And for real, we've done a lot of progress in this episode. I can't wait to play Miss Survival once again. So smash like for episode five. So I highly suggest you checking out my previous Miss Survival video. Or click on the second card and you will see how Miner just disappeared. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.